Blessed are those who mourn, they shall be comforted. So we continue. The Gospel according to Luke chapter 6 verse 21, and I would encourage you to look at it, repeats the same beatitude slightly different. Luke chapter 6 verse 21 tells us, Blessed are you who weep now, you shall laugh. So we want to do a little comparative study. We're looking at some of the Old Testament, the New Testament, Luke, but we're keeping the focus on Matthew, the um, Beatitudes as presented by Matthew's Gospel. Luke was speaking of the necessary struggle of the Christian life. He states that if we accept the cross, the heart of the Christian life, we will certainly get a crown. As the old people say, no cross, no crown. If we enjoy the good things as though nothing matters in this world. Now keep that in mind. He's not saying that we must not enjoy the good things in this world. The rich man enjoy the good things. His point of departure is Lazarus is just saying, look, instead of throwing the remains here, just extend your hand and I will be happy. And he said, not even that I would do. So if we enjoy the good things as though nothing matters beyond the world, then we would all get what the world offers. Luke clearly states that if we live with the conviction that there is something beyond this world, and although we may be considered as a failure because of our sorrow, we get the joy the world cannot offer. Let's look at that again. We want to live in this sorrow. We live in this world. We move, and of course it's a journey. I'm not saying we always have to be crying, and no. We move beyond that. And then as we move beyond that, another aspect of sorrow takes our lives, and then we move, and the sorrow gives us a little zip to remind us that we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. So we cannot live in this world as though nothing, there's no other, there's that there is no eternal life. We live and we say, Lord, we keep the focus. We are enjoying life. We have good things to eat. You go to a party, you enjoy. Yes, we need to celebrate. We need when people achieve things, congratulations, well done. We have to meet, we have to celebrate. So we, we eat. Yes, that's one of the best ways we, we choose to celebrate. But we do that keeping the focus. This is an understanding of the profound example of Lazarus. I mentioned that earlier on in Luke's Gospel, Luke chapter 16, verse 25. So again, keep your Bibles out and look at Luke chapter 16, verse 25. Right? According to the Beatitudes, life presents two choices. The path that brings immediate profit, happiness and freedom from trouble. The path which necessitates immediate discipline and which may bring trouble, sorrow. Although it may present hardship and persecution and call for sacrifice, it is those who accept the latter who will experience the ultimate and permanent bliss. So life presents, see I present before you a choice. Says the master, the path that brings immediate happiness, we grab onto that and we live, no, no, no um, pain, no sorrow, nothing at all, we avoid everything. And the other, the path which necessitates discipline. We go through trouble, we go through hardship, we catch our, mm. but we focus on God because he will bring us the ultimate and permanent bliss. Amen.